हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन योर चैप्टर हेरिडिटी एंड इवोल्यूशन दैट इज ऑफ द टेंथ क्लास आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मोनो हाइब्रिड एंड डाई हाइब्रिड क्रोस दैट दीज क्रोसिस वर परफॉर्म बाय द मेंडल ड्यूरिंग हिस्स टाइम व्हेन ही वाज लिविंग इन द मोनेस्ट्री एंड परफॉर्मिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन द लथायरस ओडोरेटस और द स्वीट पी प्लांट्स एंड ही वाज स्टडीड द सेवन कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग ट्रेड्स इन द पी प्लांट बट at the time of study he was considered as the luckiest person why this question is also coming in the cbse why he was considered as the luckiest person yes he was not only the person that was studying during studying about the hybridization at that time there were many biologists who were studying about the hybridization and mixing of the characters but he was the first person who gave the clear cut rules and principles about the inheritance that is why he was considered as the luckiest person yes uh, he gave four laws on the basis of his experiments these were first law of dominance i can mark here also law of dominance law of segregation law of independent assortment and law of paired factors so many times cbc will uh, ask any one of the laws and Uh, ask explain any one law with the help of illustration that means with the help of cross yes so we will discuss one by one first law of dominance yes what this law states this law that is the law of dominance states that two alleles of a gene that code for a character yes what i am saying i am repeating again two alleles of a gene which code for a character if one alley is dominant dominant means which can express itself then other alley will be recessive which cannot express itself it means if two alleys are there uh, in which one is dominant and other is recessive at that time recessive alley will not express itself in presence of dominant alley that is known as the law of dominance so we will explain these in this close i have taken an example of the round seed yes in pea plant round seed we will do the cross with wrinkled seed so genotype of the round seed will be capital r capital r and wrinkled seeds is small r small r so this will be the phenotype and this will be the genotype then gametes will be formed from here i have mentioned here gametes after that these gametes will fertilize together and give the f1 generation but you must have to keep in mind on the basis of f1 generation no one can take an out any of the conclusion why because in f1 generation all the results will be the hybrid yes you can see here in f1 generation all are of the same type so on the basis of f1 generation we can not taken out any of the result so we need to find out the f2 generation then what we will do we will take any one of the f1 generation and we will do the selfing at that time these also make the gametes here and after the crossing of these these gametes they will give rise to yes one round one wrinkled i have mentioned one wrinkled one round and two that is of hybrid but here you just see it one capital r and second is small r capital r small r here yes law of dominance will be applied here also law of dominance will be applied how because if one capital r and second is small r is here small r will not express itself in the presence of capital r yes because capital r is the dominant and small r is the recessive alley so only dominant alley will express itself so law of dominance second yes law of segregation segregation means separation 
what what is last stage say love segregation states that during the gametogenesis process gametogenesis means the process of gamete formation yes sexually producing organs organ, organisms definitely produce the gametes so during the gametogenesis the alleles will make their copies and these copies will pass individually into the gametes and those gametes will combine together to produce the organisms so these uh, alleles which code for a specific character will make their copies and separate so here law of segregation will apply third law of independent assortment yes this law states that when any of the alleles of a gene which are coding for a character will make its copy and separate and pass into the gametes at that time separation will be independent yes each alleles will make its copies by itself and pass independently that it means any of the alleles copy and its its passing will not depend upon the any other alleles that is known as the law of independent assortment fourth law that is the law of paired factors yes this law states there that uh, as you know i can mention here also uh, <coughs> there is a cell that makes the living organisms basic unit of the life inside the cell there is nucleus inside the nucleus there are chromosomes chromosomes contain genes and these genes are made up of dna and proteins yes so genes are mainly found on the chromosomes genes will pass into the gametes and pass into the form next generation only with the help of the chromosomes so what this law of paired factor states any of the gene that will code for a character is made up of a pair of alleles yes a pair of alleles that means in pair there are two alleles and that states like this round seeds are coded by two alleles capital r capital r these are in pair uh, uh, wrinkled seeds are coded by two alleles small r small r that are in pair this shows the law of paired factors so these are the four laws given were given by the mendel thank you beta